Hi, I'm Alicia and welcome to the Minte Papers YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing a bulk set of shabby chic cards that I created with matching gift boxes using the Florabella Papers by Minte. This video will take you through exactly how to create all of the cards and all of the little envelopes slash gift boxes. I'm so excited you're here to join me. Let's get started. Our first step is to take one of your pieces of 12 by 12 inch cardstock and measure at 12 inches and cut. This removes the barcode at the bottom of the page. You need to cut this at 4 inches. So measure along 4 inches and do your cut. Measure along another 4 inches and do your cut. And then you have three pieces of cardstock and this is what we'll be making our cards out of. Repeat that process on another two pages of 12 by 12 cardstock which all together will give you nine cards. We're going to pop our paper trimmer away for a moment and we're going to fold our base cards in half. So that's simply folding them over, matching the edges and then scoring down that side of the card. And if you want to, you can use a boning folder to just give a nice crease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is our nine base cards all ready to go. We're going to pop those to the side now. We're going to get out our papers. This is your Minte Florabella paper kit. Papers are beautiful. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous paper range. One of my favorites. I just keep coming back to this collection over and over again because I just love it and it's so easy to work with. What we're doing is we're choosing a couple of pages here that we're going to use on the base of our cards. I've decided to go with these papers here. I'm using the soft sides on the back rather than the busier, more patterned sides on the front. So I've got two pages of number two and two pages of number three. And I'm going to be trimming these down to five and three quarters by three and three quarters. So you can see I've got two sort of pinky pages and two white pages. This is the number three paper. It's the white sort of gray paper. And again, I'm going to be cutting this to five and three quarters by three and three quarters. This paper will be for the inside of our cards. This will be where you write your message on. So we're taking our paper trimmer again and this time we are cutting at five and three quarter inches. And then we cut again at five and three quarter inches. Then we turn our page to the side and we're going to cut at three and three quarter inches. Three and three quarter inches. Three and three quarter inches. We're going to repeat that process with this one and our second page. We are now moving on to our 
soft pink page, which is the number two page, cutting it at five and three quarters. And again at five and three quarters. Then we're cutting at that three and three quarters, three and three quarters, and three and three quarters. And we just continue this process, just like we cut out our silvery white pages. We'll need two pages to create nine of these card base pieces. Our next step is gluing. We are going to glue all of our pink pages onto the front of our card bases and we will have a white border around the edge of our card. And that is our nine cards. They all have the pink on the front now. Our next job is to glue the white rectangles onto the inside of each card. And that is all of our white pieces glued on to the inside of our cards and we've got our pink pieces on the front covers so a beautiful job there everything is finished there on the base of those cards our next step is to take the number five paper we will be cutting our number five paper to five and a half by two inches So let's measure and cut five and a half inches and another five and a half inches. We will only need one of these papers. Okay, we've got our two rectangles. Now we're going to cut at two inches. Cutting at two inches all the way along that first piece and then two inches all the way along that second piece to give you nine pieces. Now we're going to spread those out. Now this is actually the back of the paper. I've chosen the other side. Of course, when you create your cards, you can choose any side of the paper that you want. You're, you might like your cards to look a bit different to the way I've made mine. You want, might want a little bit more color and a bit more pattern in yours. I'm going for quite a subtle look. I'm using some recycled cardboard on the back of these strips to elevate this strip on my card. You could use foam mounting tape if you preferred. Once you have enough of that recycled cardboard on the back of those strips, I'm just going to add some glue so that we've got glue on each one. And then I'm going to position them onto my card. Now I'm positioning them on the right hand side of the card. I'm just gonna pop them on each of the nine cards. All right, we're moving on to the next step now. You will need the two number six papers from your paper collection. One side, we will cut out all of these pictures, fussy cut it. On the other side, on the other page, we'll cut out all of the frames. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. You can do this in front of the TV or 
you know, at it away from your craft desk and you will need every single one of those cut out to decorate your cards. Once you have those cut out, you can place them onto your card and decide where they might like where you might like them to go. So one frame and one picture per card. Our next step is to take some white lace and we're going to cut it so that it fits on our card next to our rectangular strip. And then we're going to glue that little piece of lace onto each of our cards. And then I just move my piece of lace onto the glue and I just tuck it under that paper just a little bit. So it looks like the lace is just popping out from underneath that piece of paper there. And now we're going to go forward and do that to each one of our nine cards. So I'm going to choose which cards to put my sentiments on. Now this one's got a, the horse. I'm going to add a happy birthday to that one. On this card I have the easel and the frame and I'm thinking about where I'm going to position it and I'm thinking maybe the love sentiment might be nice because that easel kind of reminds me of a wedding. So this could be a wedding card. On this one I have the horse and the white frame. I'm thinking maybe that could be a happy birthday. I know a lot of girls like horses and unicorns so that could be a happy birthday card. This one's got the cow girl boots and the hat and the suitcase. Let's add a thank you sentiment to that one. This one has the rectangular frame and the floral cluster with the heart shaped locket. Let's add a thank you sentiment to that one. Again, you can choose whatever sentiment to match whatever image that's going to suit you. This is just an example. This has got the oval frame and the floral cluster. I think we might put a for you in there because that could be a very generic card. This one has the rectangular frame and the lantern. I'm gonna give that one a happy birthday. This one has the oval frame and the letter. That can be a happy birthday. This one has a rectangular frame and the clock and that can have the for you. So I've just gone through and chosen the sentiments that I think suit the images. You'll go through and make your own decisions on what you like the best. I'm going to go through and add one flower to each one of my cards. I'm just cutting a piece of cheesecloth for each of my cards. This adds to the softness of a shabby chic card. So what I'm doing here is spreading out the cheesecloth. You do not want to just stick your cheesecloth on without playing with it and basically pulling it apart because it doesn't give the same wispy feeling. I put some, I've been putting some cardboard on the back of the, I've just popped it where the frame would go. So we've already put cardboard underneath that rectangular strip. If I just put my frame straight on the paper, it's going to look lopsided, so I've got to balance it out. So I'm balancing it out with a little bit more recycled cardboard, then I'm pulling my cheesecloth so it's all wispy. Now if you've got a little edge, I had a bit of edging on this part, depends what part of the material you get, cut your edge off because the edge doesn't pull nicely, you've still got this sort of chunky edge. You want it to look a little bit like, it's sort of a bit like that spider web stuff that they have at Halloween that they pull out. You want it to look wispy um, 
you don't want it to look like just a square of material that you've just chucked straight on. Okay, so that's that card done. I'm just going to go through every single card now. I'm going to glue down the, the frame and then I'm going to play with the cheesecloth and, and spread it out a little bit. Now as you are doing this, you want to think about the positioning of your frame. You may not want your frame directly in the middle and this is going to depend on what picture you're working with. The cowboy boots and the hat I put slightly to the left hand side so that the edge of that little material coming from the hat ties up with the edge of the card. So you want to have a little think about the positioning of the frame as to the picture. You don't have to have that frame smack bang in the middle of the card. You can on some cards, but on others it might suit more if you have it higher and to the left or lower and to the right. So as you're sort of positioning your frame, just keep in mind where you're going to put your picture. And because we're using the liquid glue, we can move the frame around after. Alright, so let's move on. We've got all those frames down now. Take some white twine, cut it to about 15 inches and then tie it into a bow. You'll need one bow for each card. The next step is to take some ribbon. I'm using very soft silver ribbon and I'm going to make nine bows. We're going to begin gluing everything down now and assembling our card. We've got all of our bits and pieces, so now it's time to put it all together. So take your liquid glue, put some glue on the back of your image and position it onto your frame. Take some glue and put that on the back of your sentiment. Think about where you want to position it on each image. Each image is going to be different. Okay, now we're going to do the bows and the flowers. Now for the sentiments that have that little hole in the banner, I want to cover that up with my flower or my bow. I don't really want to see that hole. So I'm positioning my bow and my ribbon and my flower sort of on that hole there, on a sort of diagonal. I really love the clustering of the embellishments on these cards. It's a very simple cluster, but it's just really soft and pretty and just enough to decorate the card without being too much. Then you need to go through and trim off all the little ends of your twine and your ribbons so that there's nothing hanging down too long. That's the conclusion of our cards. They are beautiful cards. They're just so pretty, so shabby chic. I'm really happy with how they turned out. After we have finished our cards, I will show you how to create some little gift boxes 
um, to put your cards in because they are a little bit too bulky for an envelope. So if you want to stick around, I'll show you how to do that now. I thought it would be nice to make some envelopes, well, some little boxes for our cards. So you're going to need a 12 by 9 inch piece of paper. Don't throw away the scrap because that scrap becomes your belly band. Take a scoring tool, score at four and a half, five and a half, ten and eleven. Turn it around, score at one and eight. Do that on all of your pages that you're going to do. Scoring at four and a half, five and a half, ten and eleven. Turn it around, score at one and eight. Repeat this process. Turn it around, score at one and eight. Score your bands while you've got your scoreboard out. Do all your bands now. One and three quarters, two and three quarters, seven and a quarter, eight and a quarter. We have to do a little bit of cutting now. Up two boxes, up two boxes, cut that bit off, cut that bit off and then this bit just in and in on the score lines, in and in on the score lines. Now it's time to fold. Let's just clear this out of the way a little bit. So we're folding up those bits. Basically every single crease has to be folded. Then we're starting to glue. Make our little box. box is sort of really self. Once you cut it out and you fold it, you can sort of see how it goes. It's, it's quite simple to sort of put together. There we go, there's our little box. Pretty papers. Last of all, I'm going to just quickly fold my belly bands. Wrap your little belly band around and then add your little Velcro dot. There we go, isn't that pretty? So pretty, I love the papers. So when you're choosing your belly band, choose a contrasting page. So here I've got the, the very plain grey box, so I'm going to choose a busy paper for the belly band so that there's something nice to look at. Once you have got all of your boxes done, you can decorate, you can use the frames that you have already cut out. We can add on those extra little bits that we didn't use on our cards. You've also got that lovely piece of paper, the front cover, where you can fussy cut the images from that. We haven't done those images, so feel free to add those in um, as decoration for your envelopes. I've kept my envelopes decoration very 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 simple but you could really go to town on the decoration of the envelope if you wanted to. I'm just trimming out the horse for one of my envelopes. So we've got this whole extra page here of, of things that we haven't actually used in our cards and these would be perfect to decorate envelopes. 
So I'm just going to cut out the horse, but please cut out the floral clusters. They would look amazing on your envelopes. If, you, if you're doing a lot of um, envelopes, take your time and enjoy the decoration of those because this, it really is another whole blank canvas here waiting to be decorated. And that basically concludes our class for today. You've done a beautiful job in creating nine beautiful shabby chic cards and matching gift boxes. And it's just been therapeutic to sit down together and create, so thank you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and take the time to subscribe to the Minte Papers YouTube channel. Every Sunday, a new video is released and there is so much amazing inspiration with the beautiful Minte Papers. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely crafty day.